Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you an amazing voice cloner that I found and it only takes 15 seconds of audio to train. It's called E2F5 TTS. So first thing you do is install Pinocchio and I'll put the link to that on the video description. And then here, just click on discover. And right now, this is one of the most popular apps. It'll probably remain that way. So it's up here towards the top. So once you get it installed, it takes a little bit of time to get it running, then just uh, run it. And once you get it running, you're going to get this screen. Now you can use this here if you like, but what I usually do is pop out because I go to a web screen. It's just got a little bit bigger font so I can see it better. Now the first thing you need is some audio to use this. So to do that, I'm going to show you how to turn on stereo mix. If you're not aware, stereo mix is how to record any sound coming out of your speaker. So if it plays on YouTube, you can record it or anywhere else. So I would just go ahead and select a control panel. I'm on Windows 11 and I'm going to click on sound click on recording and on stereo mix right click it and make sure you have it enabled. I've already got it so I'll just hit OK and close out of that. Now I'm going to be using a free app called Audacity. If you don't have it it's worth every penny because it's free and it's worth more than that actually but I don't want to tell them that. But once you get Audacity installed click on Edit Preferences and on the first set tab of audio settings, click uh, make sure your recording device is stereo mix and then you'll be able to record what comes out of your computer. So to, once we get that going, I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube and start playing. Uh, I can probably not say his name, but Jim Alcala, uh, not even going to try, Alcala, something like that. But anyway, I'll just record 15 seconds of him. So we're already, we'll just start recording and then I'll play 15 seconds. Locking the secrets of the stars would take a moment of brilliance from this man, Fred Hoyle. Hoyle was a brilliant mathematician and physicist, one of the greatest of his day. He was creative, coming up with bold theory. Okay. That's enough. So now we'll go ahead and stop this. Now you'll notice it's not very uh, amplified. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit Control A, go to Effect, Volume and Compression, Amplify. Um, that's probably about right, anywhere 25 to 30, somewhere in there, just to get it enough so you can see it. And I'll go past that first little sound there. Now, if you notice, there was some music in that clip, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of the music. So to do that, I'm going to go to hit Control A to select everything, hit Effect, and I'm going to select Open Vino AI Effects. I've already got the plugin installed, but I'll put the link to that in the description. And we're going to select Open Vino Music Separation. And what that'll do is create two new tracks, one for the music and one for just the audio. There wasn't much music, but I heard a little bit. So this is going to be the music right here. And I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and close this. Okay, now I'm going to export this. And I'll just call this Jim because I can't spell his last name. Okay, now I'm going to reopen that and I'll show you why because sometimes the beginning gets cropped off kind of weird. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I just wanted to see. Okay, there's a little bit of a gap there. I'll go ahead and show you that noise suppression. It won't take very long on a clip this size. So if I go to uh, Open Vino Effects, Noise Suppression, and I'll just select the defaults. Doesn't take long at all, but it just gets rid of some of the noise that was recorded there. And you can repeat that if you need to, but I'll just export this. One more time. We'll just call this Jim again. Hopefully you don't get a loud noise. Sorry if that was loud. Okay, and now we're going to go back to our little web interface here and select Jim. Okay, and now what we're going to do, I had Bing write me a uh, short story about the cosmos, because that's what this uh, is about, or his video is about, 
and you just paste in the text. There's one thing I usually do. You don't have to do this part. I haven't tried it with this character yet, so maybe this is not needed. But there's a speed. I'm going to usually set it to about 0.9, somewhere like that. I don't know why, but it seems to... It comes up a little more natural sounding if you do that. And we'll go ahead and just click Synthesize. Now, the first thing it does is it transcribes your source audio, and then it does a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of time, not too long, but about a minute or two to do this. Maybe less. It's going pretty quick. So I'll pause it for just a second and be right back. Okay, that wasn't too long. And I'll go ahead and run this. Amidst the infinite expanse of space, a lone star named Solara danced gracefully among the celestial bodies. Born from the remnants of an ancient supernova, Solara shone with a brilliance that captivated all who gazed upon her. Her light reached far and wide, illuminating the dark corners of the universe and guiding lost travelers home. As Solara's journey was one of discovery, as she observed the birth and death of stars, the formation of planets, and the emergence of life. Through it all, she remained a beacon of hope and wonder, a testament to the beauty and mystery of the cosmos. Now, is that like the best thing you've ever seen? I don't know. I think that's just super cool. But you can... Uh create you know any voices now i wouldn't use this for commercial purposes or steal someone's voice but for entertainment purposes or i think he's got a great you know a great voice he just has you know emphasis and, and even the way it did it did his voice better than i've heard a lot of them do because that was just to me that was a uh, perfect but anyway i just wanted to show you how to record anyone's voice i i think that's one of the greatest things as a storyteller to you know Especially if you can get someone to give you permission to use their voice, you know, probably for as cheap as a, you know, a beer or a slice of pizza or something. Most people would think I was at the grocery store yesterday and this, this guy working at HEB was like doing demos for cooking or something, but it was his voice was like, you know, radio announcer voice. I was like, I wish I had a recording device with me. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. That was my short video. I just wanted to show you how to record anyone's voice and I think the Intel OpenVINO plugins are pretty cool also. All right, have a great day.